This video explains how to sum a list of matrices using the R programming language. So without much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video I will show you an example and for this example we first need to create an example list as you can see in lines 2 to 4 of the code. So after running these lines of code a new list object is appearing at the top right which is called my list and we can print this list to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 5 of the code. And then you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that we have created a list object that contains three different matrices. So the first list is called MAT1, the second list is called MAT2 and the third list is called MAT3. And as you can see, each of these lists contains four rows and four columns and all the lists contain numeric values. Now let's assume that we want to get the sum of these three lists. So for instance, we want to add the values 1, 11 and 101. Then we can apply the reduce function, as you can see in line 7 of the code. And within the reduce function, we need to specify the plus operator. And then we also need to specify the name of our input list. And in this case, I'm also storing the output of the reduce function in a new data object that I'm calling list sum. So after running line 7 of the code, this new data object called list sum is appearing at the top right. And we can print this data object to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 8 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a matrix object which contains the sum of our three matrices that we have stored in our input list. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.